Apple has just announced the first new features coming to the iPhone with iOS 19 and in this video I'm going to be telling you everything that we know so far. iOS 19 is making it easier for you to be able to create, set up and share accessibility settings for friends and those that you support. If you have a chip in your brain such as a BCI or brain computer interface is like a Neuralink, iOS 19 will allow users with such implants such as Neuralink to be able to control their iPhones, iPads and the Vision Pro is more. With iOS 19, when you open up the App Store, just as you see device information linked to you, there will now be a new section to show accessibility functions that each application now supports to help you to see if it's going to be beneficial for you before you download. It's alleged that if you have the iPhone 11 or newer, you are going to be able to get iOS 19, meaning that the iPhone 10s, 10s Max and the iPhone XR are going to be dropped from the support list, but it's not confirmed it's just alleged there's also a new whole that thought accessibility shortcut that's going to be improved with ios 19 but is available already that allows you to gather and collect thoughts for future use the accessibility assistant shortcut has been added to shortcuts on apple vision pro to help recommend accessibility features based on user preferences that you can select and you can see how the ui looks right here ios 19 will also introduce a new reader mode built in directly into the magnet fire to allow users with low vision to be able to read more easily on the iPhone, iPad and Mac. And with Mac OS 16, the Mac is also going to be getting a new magnifying application. With Braille App Launcher, there will be an automatic app launcher that will initiate to allow users to perform different calculations using different Braille input devices. Live caption settings is actually going to support more languages within more regions such as French, English for more countries and Spanish among others. Music haptics will now allow users to feel music through their iPhones if they are hard of hearing or perhaps deaf by improving the haptics that you feel for vocals or perhaps haptics for the whole song. In settings under the audio and visual accessibility setting, Apple is going to be adding a new EQ settings for users to be able to see and you have the ability to also set a timer for the accessibility to stop. Within the shortcut app, Apple is adding more accessibilities that will help you to be able to use background sounds and utilize them to your advantage. Personal voice is being improved with iOS 19 and with Apple's new improved AI processing power that they have all thanks to Apple intelligence, it will be able to take only 10 phrases to set up and will have a more better and accurate representation of your voice. Eye tracking is also being improved by allowing users to use switch or dwell inputs to be able to advance their accessibility. With iOS 19, CarPlay is also being improved by allowing users to be able to change the text size on displays and at the same time the voice recognition and sound identification is being improved by being able to detect sounds such as a crying baby and different sirens among others. With motion accessibility improvements, you'll be able to customize the dots that are on the screen to help with motion sickness and the same exact features coming to Mac OS 16 as well. With iOS 19, the iPhone is going to support more voice control languages and it's going to make it available on the Mac as well and the languages that are going to be supported are Korean, Arabic, Turkish, Italian, Mandarin, Chinese, English for more regions such as Singapore and Russia. Assistive access at the bottom of the accessibility settings will have a new Apple TV app to allow you to set up larger buttons and more features for those that have developmental disabilities iOS 19 alongside the latest watchOS version for this year which is watchOS 12 will allow you to use your Apple Watch's microphone with your AirPods to perform features such as live listen to stream audio directly to your other devices such as AirPods or if you have other hearing aids you can be able to use your watch's microphone to send audio to that to help you with listening or being able to hear properly. In conjunction with the latest Vision OS update, iOS 19 is actually going to allow you to use the front cameras of your Apple Vision Pro device to be able to zoom into text and see things more clearly. 
Also, live recognition is being improved with iOS 19 and the Apple Vision Pro where it will be able to quickly and precisely describe items in front of you that it sees to help you be able to identify them if you have problems with vision. Apple has joined the Universal Music Group and is announcing music therapy that's now available on the music application. You can search up for therapy and you'll be able to see the different sections. Right now, there's a playlist for sleep and all these features that I highlighted right here are in addition to the many others that Apple has highlighted that are coming with iOS 19. I'll be covering it here so if you want to keep up to date definitely follow for more.